So multi-streaming has become really popular these days and people are wondering what's the best multi-chat tool to use. So I've had a look and I've narrowed down to two different options and which one's the best, it will depend which uh, platforms you're streaming to. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you both and then you can pick which one's best for your own setup. So the two different apps that I've narrowed down to is the first one is the Social Stream Ninja app, which covers a whole heap of platforms. And the second one is uh, the new and improved StreamerBot app, which does a whole heap of features apart from being a multi-chat tool. Uh, so I'll show you both of those and you can see which one's best suited for you. So we'll jump in, we'll have a look, see what they're like. All right, so let's jump over to the uh, main machine. We'll have a look at the first one, which is uh, the Social Stream Ninja app. All right, so we're on the main machine. So this is what the app looks like. Uh, so this is what I have uh, set up at the moment. So you can set up multiple different platforms. So if you do stream to a, a lot of different uh, platforms, part of your multi-streaming, this might be the one for you. Uh, so it does support YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, Kick, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter as well. Uh, so if you do stream to all of those other apps, uh, this is probably more targeted to you and your setup. Uh, so with this one, I found it's a little bit more manual than uh, the streamer bot side of things. I have found that uh, you can try the auto activate part for the YouTube side of things. Uh, I found it was it was hit and miss. Sometimes it worked properly, sometimes it didn't. Uh, sometimes I would have to uh, start it manually. I'd have to change to the web socket back to standard or vice versa. Um, so the YouTube side, you also need to start the stream first and then you can uh, join into it. So there is a couple of extra steps in there that you, de that you need to do. Um, but otherwise you just set up all your accounts and then uh, you can connect to them there. The Twitch side is the only one that worked properly all the time that I found. Uh, I never had any issues with the Twitch side of things. Uh, that worked fine. Uh, the other ones I have set up is a TikTok one. Again, once it goes live, uh, the auto activate didn't really work too well for me. Uh, what I did is once I actually go live uh, via TikTok studio, I would then enable the web socket and then it would connect and then off it goes. Uh, so it's a slightly manual process again. Um, the auto activate I've only found really work properly with, with Twitch, but that could just be a me issue. Uh, it could work perfectly fine for others. Uh, so it does have the option to enable it there. So you can try it, see how it goes. Hopefully it works for you guys and then it's fine. Uh, but for me, when I tried it, it didn't work. So I just turned it off and just did it manually. Um, so you can add your YouTube, YouTube Shorts, uh, Twitch, Kick as well, uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, it has everything in there. So if you stream to all these other different platforms, it supports a whole bunch of different, different ones in there. Uh, so what it looks like, uh, so you can set it up. How I usually do it is I set it up in uh, in OBS, so I make another uh, doc in, in my OBS with the uh, multi-chat. So it looks something like this. Let's make it a bit bigger so you can see it. Uh, so this is an example of it. A lot of people don't really like it. Uh, the formatting, you can't change much. That's the only downside as well. Uh, I find the font and everything, it just doesn't look as nice as like the, the default, say Twitch one that you sort of used to, uh, which is a nicer font and that type of stuff. So you can customize it within here, within the, uh, the settings. Uh, but I, I played around with it a little bit. I didn't really, didn't, couldn't find a, a setup that I actually uh, liked. Uh, so this is how I used to have it set up. So it has all the icons for different platforms. So I had uh, Twitch on there, I had TikTok and YouTube and everything uh, and all that stuff. So it has all the icons, has the user's avatar as well, timestamp, you can have all that kind of stuff, usernames, uh, everything like that. Uh, so it's got all those types of things in there. So that's what it looks like. So if you're happy with that type of formatting and how it looks there and you're happy with that, by all means, give that a try. The Social Stream Ninja one uh, might be the one for you. Uh, but once I used that for a little while, I was kind of looking for something different. So what I found uh, was that StreamerBot actually had a whole new overhaul. So when it uh, updated to version one, uh, they actually redid the whole UI and everything. So it looks really nice now and it's a bit easier to use. Uh, so this thing, it does a whole heap of stuff. So you can do actions and commands and all sorts of stuff in there. Um, so it's a very powerful tool. Uh, but the main thing I am using it for at the moment is uh, just the multi-chat. So the platforms it uses uh, by default is Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. I don't use Trovo on there. Uh, but they're the three that you can, that most people multi-stream to. Uh, so they're the main ones that are built in uh, natively. 
what you can also do is uh, you can use a, another tool which uh, Nutty created, which is another uh, tool that uses the StreamerBot app. And you can actually add TikTok to this list as well. Um, so I'll show you that. I'll put a link in the description as well to, um, to his stuff. So it's a widget that he created. Uh, it's free on his website that you can grab and download. You can add it into OBS as well. So this is what it looks like. Uh, so this is uh, Nutty's one, the multi-chat overlay. So you can customize all the settings and stuff. Uh, so you can have, if you want the platform badges, avatars, timestamps, all that kind of stuff. All the same thing that uh, we had in the other one. Uh, so you can tell which platform is which. You can pick your different fonts, adjust the sizes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so you've got plenty of different settings uh, and options in there that you can that you can set. Then you scroll down, so you've got all the Twitch options here. And then you can scroll down a bit further. You can see the uh, YouTube options. Then you've got kick options here as well. And then this is what he's added in, which is the TikTok side of things. Uh, so you can add all four uh, if you want to. So if you stream to all four platforms or just three, uh, you can uh, use this widget uh, and it really helps. And I find it's a lot nicer formatting and it just looks better in OBS as well. Uh, so same thing, all you gotta do is you copy that URL at the top, uh, create a doc in OBS, paste it in there, and that's it, nice and simple. And this is what it looks like. So you'll have uh, your different bubbles which you can customize in all the settings and that type of stuff. You'll have your icons and names uh, and everything like that. So you can play around with all the settings, put it how you want it, and uh, that'll be good to go. Uh, so it's got the other donation bits down the bottom as well. You can add if you want to connect those things if uh, if you use them. Uh, so if you choose to go with the streamer bot option, I highly recommend grabbing this. I'll put the link in the description as well to grab it uh, from Nutty. It's on his website. I find it it, it adds a little bit extra to the, uh, the streamer bot option. So if you do stream to other sites like Instagram, Facebook, uh, DLive, to, to Twitter, Rumble, that type of stuff, if you stream to those platforms, uh, the Social Stream Ninja is probably the one for you. Uh, so it does support uh, more web pages. Uh, I just didn't really like the way the chat is displayed. And I played around with the settings. I couldn't find one that I really liked. Uh, so that's why I changed over to the StreamerBot one. This one has the main ones that you're probably after. Uh, but if you don't stream to those other ones and you just do the main like Twitch and YouTube or you might do Twitch YouTube Kick, uh, the streamer bot supports all those natively. So I highly recommend setting those up. It's very easy to set up, very simple to install, set up. You'll be up and going in like five minutes. Um, all you've got to do, connect all your accounts, add your overlay and that's it. It's good to go. So if you wanted to use just the stream bot one without Nutty's thing for the TikTok support, all you need to do is click on the chat bubble. So after you've linked your platforms, link all the ones that you want to link, uh, click the chat button at the top. You get a window here. Uh, so you've got all the different options at the top. Click the little cog and then up the top, highlight that, go down to overlay, click on that one. It'll come up here. Just click on that where it says save and copy URL. It'll copy it. And then you just add that a new doc in OBS, paste that in, and then you're good to go. Uh, so you can change again, just like the other one. You can play around with all the different settings, the fonts and all that kind of stuff. Customize it to how you like it. Uh, and then that's it. You'll have a nice, simple uh, multi-chat overlay in uh, your OBS. So I would recommend uh, the stream bot option. I find it looks nice and neat uh, on the in the o overlay. Uh, it supports most of the platforms and with Nutty's uh, widget, you can support TikTok as well. So if you stream to, to all of them, uh, you're good to go. It'll cover all of them. Uh, if you stream to the other ones that uh, aren't in this list, go with the social stream ninja. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Give them a try. Uh, you'll find it much nicer than having multiple windows open and all that kind of stuff. This one pushes them all into one big window, which is much easier to read. You can tell which platform which message is from. If you have any issues or whatever, got any questions, chuck them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, so that's it for this one. Uh, hopefully you found it helpful and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.